Hello guys, welcome back to Christian Finance for your daily financial content. And today we actually have updates for the two biggest crypto lending platforms in both Celsius and Voyager. As you guys know, both of those networks froze withdrawals so their customers couldn't get their crypto out of there. And now the two of them within a span of a week have filed for chapter 11 bankruptcy. And that potentially was the best thing they could have done in a way so their clients could potentially get some of their funds back as we'll see in a little bit. Right before I get into the updates themselves, I just wanna take a second, ask you guys to please like the video, subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a lot. I put a lot of effort into these videos. Only thing I'm asking in return guys, please subscribe to the channel. Okay, so we're gonna start off with Celsius up first. And as we know, we left off last time with them saying they're gonna have their core hearing on Monday. And obviously it's Thursday now. They do have some of an update for us. So here's what they have to say. We know that any reorganization plan will require buy-in from the community. And then once again, it's also from the July 18th. We were encouraged to hear at today's first day proceeding that the US trustee is working quickly to form the committee that will work to serve the interests of our customers. Okay, vague but not bad. We intend to file a plan that will provide customers with an option to remain long crypto. See now, this is interesting. Again, the one thing I dislike the most with this whole situation is how big everything is, right? This could mean a bunch of different things. Please, Celsius, Voyager, right? Be more specific with what you have to say because this could be interpreted really good, but then again, they use words such as we intend, right? Not we will, we are doing, but we intend. And again, it's just a choice of words I don't like very much. And then they ended off with customers can now file notice of a claim with Stretto. And then this is where they can be contacted for the additional information. As we covered last time with Alex Levitin, he was saying that he's expecting Celsius customers to get up to 60 cents back on the dollar, which again, isn't great because people want to get back all of their funds but 60% is a lot better than nothing as most people thought it would be a couple weeks ago, right? So these are some sort of progress, which is the one positive thing I can say in this situation for Celsius. And then now for the Voyager update. So the last one that they did was on July 11th. So they haven't done an update since then. And here's what they had to say. Customer cash belongs to you and will go back to you subject to reconciliation and fraud prevention process. And they all say that the customer cash is held a customer account in Metropolitan Commercial Bank and is equal to the amount of cash in Voyager accounts. I'll actually go back to this in a little bit. I do want to read through all the updates that they have. As we know that Voyager currently has approximately 1.3 billion of assets. And obviously they do have to keep talking about the $650 million loss with three hours capital, which makes sense. And then right here, they also say that customers with crypto in their accounts will receive combination of the following pro rate of crypto, pro rate of proceeds from 3AC recovery, pro rate share of common shares in the newly reorgan reorganized company, and pro rate share of Voyager tokens. One thing that's interesting here is based on my understanding, they confirm here that if you're holding cash inside the Voyager, you're going to get it back dollar for dollar. Right, which if my understanding is up to par, which I think it should be, then that's very good news. But one thing I don't like is again, how vague they're being with the people that are actually just holding crypto in there, right? This sure sounds good on paper. Once again, I just believe that the clients would really appreciate if Voyager and Celsius can just be a little bit more specific and be a little bit less vague, but at least once again, if you're holding crypto in here, based on my understanding, you're not going to get back all of it, but you're going to regain some part of it based on these criteria right here. And then they ended off with, yes, they understand that people have questions and they'll continue to work to get back with the answers. That was it with the latest updates regarding Celsius and Voyager. Again, it's good that there's some sort of steps in the right direction being taken. But one thing I really do believe they need to focus on is being more detailed in the responses and less vague. Let me know what you guys think down below. Do you really think that people will be able to get back big portions of their funds? Or do you think these are lost costs and that people will not receive anything back? I'd love to hear your guys' perspective down below in the comments. 
Please like the video, subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a lot. And as always, guys, stay diversified.